Hi, this is Mike Silva. I'm back. I uh, wanted to make a quick video just to um, explain a little bit about how just the basic stuff like downloading the stadiums from the website and installing them into your game. Seems like there's a lot of questions about this, uh, especially with the uh, lack of a um, of an installer, I guess, uh, with non-Steam users. Uh, I've seen on the boards that people are complaining about that. So I just kind of want to get this video out there just to sh quickly show and simp how simple it is just to get the stadium downloaded from uh, the Mediafire site and installed into uh, o OOTP. So I have my fictional league here, which is looking for, you know, has it, you know, this is just a one I just generated now. So the teams are looking for stadiums. So we'll just find Border Cats, for instance. Okay. So first thing we want to do is we want to open up a browser. And if you go to my, if you go to the 3D mods section into the forms, this is the OTP forms, the mods fold form here, and then we click on 3D models. I create an inventory which is stickied here at the top <clears throat> of all the ballparks um, that I've created with the help of Adion, uh, who did most of the backgrounds and everything, and helped a lot with the ads and things like that as well. So. <clears throat> just clicking on the first the first post will show you right away the link to my Mediafire site where you can download the parks. Also, I took the time to go through every stadium I've created and added download links for each particular one. So if you want to go through the stadium list and say, "Hey, oh, I want I wanted I want to download Naven Field 1934," just click the download. And it brings you, and just all you have to do is just is get you to the link. That's not the one we're going to download. This one. Also, another feature of this uh, just gives you the picks and info. So, for instance, I want to see 1988 Angel Stadium. Click on the picks and info. It goes to the post where I do, where I uploaded the picture of it, so you can view it. You can kind of preview the stadium. Also, you can see what kind of park factors the stadium has, where the dimensions are, the wall heights, that kind of thing. Just information about the stadium. I thought this would be pretty useful for people who don't know much about the historical stadiums. Uh, let me just close that. So if you can see there's a really pretty big list of stadiums. Now these are all the historic ones are all the first uh, first stadiums. Broken into this modern like kind of minor league stadiums, uh, college stadiums, all different types of things that are in here. Uh, I did my Nippon League stadiums which is um, the Japanese league. I finished that not too long ago. A little local field that I grew up in playing and I created as well as uh, a bevy of fictional stadiums. Um, Cisco Field was actually a concept field for the Oakland A's. Labatt Park was also a concept field for the Montreal Expos before they moved. And then just about 23 actual fictional stadiums that I created from scratch from my own mind or from pictures of fictional stadiums that people used in 2D uh, for 2D pictures try to make a 3D representation. So all these can be perused and you can pick which one you want to download. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this link, bring you to the Mediafire site. <clears throat> if my internet would be a little quicker. So this brings you right to the, the categories of the stadiums as listed in the, on, on my post. The fictional, the historic, historic and modern. Other backgrounds and signage are added by AD on. That's just things that he created, you know, some backgrounds and some signage files in case you want to download those. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Historic. <clears throat> now this Historic gives you every list, the list of all the stadiums as I showed you on my previous, uh, on my post, but this is all the links that you can download them. These are the files. They're all zip files in RAR format. You should be able to use WinZip or, or WinRAR to open these up. So let's see, what should I download? I like um, the Metrodome. So I will click, basically click on the file. Simple. And what, this is what I do. So you can either, you can definitely, see, you can save the zip file. But what I like to do is I open it with WinRAR. So it'll quickly download mostly. And then you see this, the WinRAR file, the WinRAR comes o open with the folder here for Metrodome 1996 to 2009. Now, this is my, my easiest thing and it works for me every time. So what I do here is I'm going to open up, well, I'm going to start from scratch. I'm going to open up a Windows Explorer. I'll close that. 
and I'm going to go to Documents, Out of the Park. This is where the Out of the Park was installed. Oh, out of the Park Developments, OTP19, Ballparks, Models, and these are all the models where uh, that that was, that the game uses for the for 3D stadiums. Now, in this particular computer, I have a lot of 19. I'm doing a 1961 replay just in my own time, so I kind of downloaded all all the stadiums that with that you know use the 1961 time period. That's pretty much it. Um, my laptop, I have every stadium I've created on there, so that's kind of useful. <laughs> so now what I do is, so I have this window here. I have the WinRAR here. I just click on the folder, drag it over to like the top, right right above like the thing. You don't want to put it in any sub any any other folder. So I just drag it away, let go, copies it over. You have your Metrodome in the file there. That's all you have to do. Now, the cool thing is, you go into the game. My Jacksonville Border Cats are going to use the Metrodome, so we go to Settings for the, under the team. And I go to the Edit Ballpark up on the top right here, and this is their ballpark. So now you can see it's basically it's got all the generic pieces. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. So I go to Actions menu, uh, manually import park, import data from file into this park. Now. Just want to. This is, happens to be in a Cisco field in my. But this is the ball ballparks models folder. So you want to go to. Make sure you're in the OTP19 ballparks models. Go to the Metrodome, which we just downloaded. It should be here now. Metrodome 1996-2009. Click on. There's a PRK file. Now every time I've created a stadium, uh, I create. I generate a PRK which has all this, the pictures, the all the data for the all you know, the name of the field, the the the, the distances and wall heights and the bar, park factors and the ball diagrams and all that. Ball dist the ball locations for 2D. Click on the park, load. And as you can see, everything has been updated. So I now I have Metrodome 1996 as this park. It's very simple. A couple clicks. So I have all the data. I have the the ball the distances, the pictures. So as you can see, the, well, the day and night are the same because it's a dome. There's the, di whoop, the diagram. Let me see, that did not make it over. Sometimes if that happens, a lot of times the diagram does come over, but if the, di if the diagram doesn't show up right away, just do select file on the diagram, re reselect the diagram, click load, and there it is. So you have your diagram. It's a good, uh, in case that happens, because that, that has happened to me, I'm not sure why that happens every once in a while. But that's the wet. All you have to do is just select it from the diagram picture, and then of course we have ball locations for 2D. You can see those have all been set. Um, they've been all all been set for day and night. Uh, so that's good too. I think that's something that was made easier to do. And then of course the 3D model. Click on 3D, and here you go. You have your Metrodome 1986. So you, know, you can check your different views, wide, wide, low, overview. So those are the th th three different angles. Also, you can create you can create your own simply moving around. You know, if you wanted to create, whoop, let me just real quick. While I'm here, you can just kind of move around. So I'm holding the right mouse button and kind of dragging this over just to change the point of view takes a little bit of getting used to, but you know, you can just kind of move it around. It's not the best thing in the world. And zoom, go down. Well, anyway, this isn't a camera tutorial, but you can kind of get the idea. You just move around with the, get it set to a certain lo location, and you can just save the camera if you want. I will not do that at this time, so I'll just go back to my camera. So basically, that's it. Now, you have the stadium that basically rinse and repeat for the rest of your uh, teams. I'll just do another one really quick. I'll select uh, the tin caps. So let's try this again. So I'm going to download for the New York tin caps. I'm going to show off my, uh, if I can find, the War Memorial Stadium, which was used in, I'm going to click that and click open. 
This was used in the natural, actually. The natural used this more War Memorial Stadium, which has happened to be in uh, Buffalo, New York, I believe. <clears throat> this is downloading right now. Once uh, it's finished, it should pop up. There we go. Bring it over to our models folder. Just kind of click, drag it over. Let it copy. There we go. Bring it back to our game. Settings, edit ballpark. This is the tin caps team. Manually import data file from park. And we just got to scroll down to War Memorial. Park file, load. There we go. And we have uh, all the files. Let's see if the diagram shows up. No, it doesn't show up there either. <laughs> Again, so, okay, in this case, we just reselect the diagram file. There we go, in case you want to use that. 3D, 3D model for War Memorial Stadium. Happens to be a little bit like this one because of the... Uh, it's got the natural movie, you know, there's a light post where they, where we hit the lights, all kinds of stuff. It's kind of a, a pretty cool stadium. Uh, it's got a little weird white field corner there. So that's my quick video. Uh, you can see how easy it is. I hope it's uh, informative. I hope it helps answer a lot of questions by the user community. Uh, getting these installed is really not long. They're pretty, stadiums are pretty, uh, you know, about 20, range from about 15 to 30 megs each. Um, so it's not a whole long time to download in these days. Uh, so, hey, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to put, leave a post uh, on my uh, inventory or any of my posts that I have on my 3D models. Um, okay, talk to you later. Bye-bye.